Behind me here in Newark, what some people call momentum against racism, it's called Abolish White Supremacy Plaza. From above, you can see the message more clearly. What you also see on Google Maps is this power station 32 miles away in East Brunswick. It's actually where 100 enslaved African Americans were sold off in 1818. It's part of a history of slavery in New Jersey that some legislators and activists are stepping up efforts to ensure is not only forgotten, but compensated for. They led a march on Juneteenth last Saturday, the day that commemorates Texas African Americans, learning in 1865 they'd been freed by President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation more than two years earlier. Mirroring that timeline, New Jersey. Even though slavery was officially ended in 1863, the Garden State didn't abolish it until two years later. Legislators say we have to counter that legacy. To put together a document that will define the impact of the inequities of slavery. Assemblywoman Shavonda Sumter wrote this bill before the legislature now, and there's this one in the state Senate. They call for a reparations task force to be established to help determine what reparations could look like. We want thought leaders to put it in a space where it's digestible with recommendations for us to lead to improvements. The conversation has to be about reparations. Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver at the Newark Juneteenth rally endorsed the effort. But so far, Governor Phil Murphy pointing to the state's Wealth Disparity Task Force that his lieutenant governor chairs as a way forward. Proposed for the task force, the head of the Institute for Social Justice. The New Jersey Reparations Task Force will, one, take responsibility for that original sin in New Jersey. And then, as importantly, that task force will begin to design policies and practices to build a new system. Now, these bills were first introduced two years ago and reintroduced this session, but still haven't gotten a vote. In that time, organizers say California legislators have adopted a similar measure, and their task force now exists and has already started meeting. Reporting from Newark, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.